So what I can tell you off the back about these products, the setting powder, which is this right here. Um, the setting powder has, you know how, it doesn't say this is an HD powder, it just says translucent loose powder, but it has those shimmer qualities um, or the shimmer effects that HD powders tend to have in them where it's not a matte powder, it has some kind of, a, it has some kind of a very very light sheen the powder is very soft you're not gonna have like a glowy face or anything it's definitely something that you can probably set or touch up your makeup with uh, and it's fine so far my face isn't matte usually upon application I like a matte face because as the makeup wears on throughout the day or through on or through on however many hours I'm wearing it, it tends to do it tends to become more dewy the way this is right now my face is as if I've already worn it for like maybe two or three hours. It has that dewy texture that I get eventually. So I don't, it, it isn't matte by any means. The blush on my face is pretty much just a golden sheen. I don't have the peach color that you get in the packet. Um, so you, I don't have the pigmentation, like the peachy pigmentation. But I have a lot of that golden sheen, that iridescent sheen that you see right here. That's what's going on on my cheeks. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. The bronzer kind of just blends right in with the blush. So... Um... So the bronzer I will definitely use as a eyebrow bone highlight because it kind of just matches my skin tone and just gives off a little bit more luminosity. That's pretty much the gist of what it does. And then you have you have this cream eye color which is in Apricot Twist. Okay, this it sets relatively quickly. It's not the easiest thing to blend. Like you can see, I, I as you saw in the demo, I went in with the brush and with my fingers and it took me a little while to get the color to be even all over the lid. Um, it did have a little bit of patchiness going on, but eventually after maybe about three layers, I got it to be even across the whole lid. So it's okay, it's not great, but I will definitely get some use out of it. And I'll probably repurpose this and find some other way to use it. But I'll definitely follow up again with this after I try it some more. These are just my first impressions. The mascara. I really, really like this mascara. I kind of knew from the unboxing that I would like it because I like the brush. I like brushes like these. Brushes like these usually give me the kind of results that I'm looking for. It's not a flimsy brush by any means. It, it's pretty firm. It's pretty, um, it's pretty steady. I don't know how well this formula will hold up. I'll just have to wear it today and see. It doesn't say whether or not it's waterproof, so I don't know if this is waterproof or not, but we'll find that out as well. This brush is okay. This is what I use to apply the cream color with. It's okay, it's a, it's good uh, from what I can see for putting on the color. I will definitely have to try using this brush with a powder product to see if I like it better. This so. is the gel eyeliner and the little brush that comes with it. This isn't something that I will use to be honest with you because maybe if I'm like on the go and I don't wanna take a full brush, I might take this with yeah, me. But this didn't this. give me the greatest application so I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of that. The gel is pretty okay, the color is really nice. It's really black and opaque. Um, it's very soft, it's a lot softer than most gel liners that I have used. I don't know if this is going to hold up. But like I said, this is just my first impression, so we'll just have to see how this stuff wears. But it's it's nice. It's nice. I like it. The powder brush is a little hard on my cheeks. This kind of feels like it'll pick up my foundation. Like if I don't like lightly blush on or dust on the powder, if I like kind of don't pay attention to what I'm doing, I feel like this will pick up my foundation that is underneath the powder. I like this, this feels good. It's not too sticky, like it has a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's not crazy sticky. It is a really nice color. I like the color, 
it's pretty pleasant. Um, I have no discrepancies with the color. I like this. This and the mascara are my favorite products. I will have to see how long the powder and the bronzer and the blush wear for. And then the gel liner was nice too. My uh, least favorite products would have to be the brushes. This is okay, but this one, eh, I'm not too crazy about it. And it was, it was shedding on me as I was applying the makeup. So, yeah, that's that. But I hope you guys liked my review of the Influencer and Mary Kay Vox box. These products were just sent to me to test out and to see what I think about them and how I feel about them. This was just my first impressions and I hope that you like it and thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet so that you stay updated with my future videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.